Welcome everybody to the hottest wrestling program in the entire world. Welcome everybody to NXT. Oh, this is going to be good. Yes, welcome to Swerve's house. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 201 pounds. The NXT North American Champion, Isaiah Swerve. The unmistakable swag of Isaiah Swerve Scott on display. Ah, uh, Byron, he has the talent to back it up. Saxton, why don't you learn from Swerve Scott? This guy is cool, man. Everything about him is cool. You should take notes. I thought I already had a cool factor. The swagger of Isaiah Swerve Scott has earned him love from the WWE Universe, but some say it borders on arrogance. Yeah, but when you're as good as Swerve is, you have to show it off. About to see great high-flying and striking hybrid offense. And his opponent representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. You know, as a group, they've been dominant in both the tag team and singles ranks in NXT. Yeah, these three superstars are not about entertaining the fans with high-flying moves. They're all about winning and making money every step of the way. Such discipline, a bright future for this team and all of its members. Without a doubt. Santos Escobar, second generation heir to a Lucha Libre legacy. A man who tore off his mask and is trying to create a tradition of his own. That's right, Cole. Santos Escobar put it all on the line when he rejected the mask. He wants to create a new tradition that puts the spotlight on victories and modern excellence. Thus far, it's paid off. The leader of Legado Del Fantasma looking to add to his new tradition in this match. And if you want high-flying trouble, look no further than this man, Isaiah Swerve Scott. He's one of the most gifted, agile, and unpredictable competitors on the roster. Yeah, and before Scott arrived at WWE, he tore up the indie scene and made a name for himself as a top talent. I assure you, he's out to replicate that success here against the best superstars in the world. Whack! Oh, oh God! Look at this. Suplex right on the arm. Stomping, ouch! The stomp in every single part of his body. What can Isaiah Swerve blast off? Splash! Off the ropes. Swerve manages to counter. Fails to connect on the springboard. Ah, oh, look at this! Hair pulled that slam! You don't hear Corey. Really working that. And you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he tapped. Slipped right underneath, and just like that, he's out of the hole. There's the bulldog. And setting him up. Oh, oh need the face. That's gonna hurt. This match grinded him down a little. Right on the arm. A little thunder roll. That cunning attack is just a save. He thinks he has it. He narrowly avoids the count. In 
frustration might be starting to set in. Snapmare. Bounce call by Swerve Scott. Will Swerve take advantage? It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxon, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 426 pounds. Timothy Thatcher and Tommaso Ciampa. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. the bruiser weight and their opponents first from Birmingham England weighing in at 205 pounds the bruiser weight Pete Dunn Pete Dunn's a man who once held the NXT UK championship forget this 685 days has also competed in countless main events in both NXT UK as well as NXT. Pete Dunne, one of the most unique superstars in all of WWE. It's all about having it, Corey. This kid has it. Intangibles, the skill set, the entitlement. Pete Dunne believes everything belongs to him, and he'll take it forcibly if he has to. Oh, look who's back at NXT! And his partner NXT Universe from Huntington Beach, California. Team. Weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe! One of the baddest dudes to ever play the game. The first two-time NXT champion. Oh boy, to the announce table now. Oh uh, yeah, gonna clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. In this tag team competition, we're going to see Timothy Thatcher and Tommaso Ciampa. And standing in their way of victory, we see Pete Dunne and Samoa Joe. These teams have scouted each other very well. They've probably identified the weak link in their opposition. Likely going to want to isolate and punish that single individual. Oof. Here it is! The 
Edge. Tombstone pile driver. Now trampling the opposition. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Tag made, fresh man in. gets countered there. Into a sidewalk slam. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He's lost some of his win now. Big overhand. Arm trapped. Precision strikes. And a reversal by Joe. Elbow drop. Piercing. Hoist it, it all up. the way up. K.O.D. Tag in. Right to the ribs. Mounted, Mounted. palm strikes. He's in off the tag. He made it. Tag made. Just breaking down the opponent. There's some power behind that punch. He does way up high. To the sky. Nobody home. Comes in off the tag. Nice takedown. Elbow drop. Mounted palm strikes. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh, man. Right across the face. Oh, Thatcher is counter. This is just brute power. Release German. He's tagging out. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a ragdoll here. Gets the tag. Ah. Shoulders down. Stops the count before it, too. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Done with a great counter. Forks a thunderous chop. Great counter. Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. Coquina clutch. Byron, he's got the sleeper locked in. The sleeper hold is locked in. He got in there. Good save. Shut right out of the ring. Down he goes. Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. Thatcher with a plan in mind. Going after the arm. Fujiwara armbar, incredible pressure. And there's the save. Gone, Joe is set for a ride and lands hard. He thinks he has it. Makes the cover. That may be one of the biggest wins of his career. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Here 
and Timothy Thatcher. And teamwork makes the dream work in this tag team victory. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft. money it ain't even funny here comes the richest man in nxt history saxton maybe you should ask grimes for a little loan you can update that suit game you know what that's not a bad idea the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from burlington north carolina weighing in at 220 pounds cameron So you could say Cameron Grimes is similar to the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, but even classier. Everything about Cameron Grimes is money. A diamond encrusted hat on the inside. Saxon, that's why you're not allowed to touch Cameron's hat. Not even for like a minute? No. A sudden chill in the air. Dexter Loomis is here. And his opponent from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis. There is absolute nothingness when you look into the eyes of Dexter Loomis. There are sinister plans at work in his head right now. Oh my God, what is this guy? Oh my Lord, wow. I think I'm gonna go hide now. Hey, make way, Saxton, leave a little room for me. This guy creeps me out. unique blend of brutal offense and an in-ring ingenuity Cameron Grimes has earned himself the nickname of the technical savage I'd say it's pretty fitting well that moniker really says it all Grimes dishes out some truly devastating blows in the ring but he's not all brute force he also knows when it's time to turn tail and run we'll see what side of Grimes we'll see in this match and with Dexter Loomis you never quite know what to expect other than the mind games and devastating offense and the intense creepiness. Yeah, Loomis is absolutely not the guy you want to stand across the ring from. To Saxton's point, that's both because of his fists and because of the van he keeps parked and running outside of the arena. Not necessarily in that order. Cameron Grimes doesn't have a lot of obvious physical vulnerabilities. Is there another tact an opponent could take to get the upper hand? You win the upper hand against Cameron Grimes by waging mental warfare. We've seen in the past that Grimes is not immune to getting shaken up. If you can get inside his head and shatter his confidence, this match could be yours for the taking. Driven down! Grimes heads up. This is gonna be good. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Up high! Diving cross body! Throwing all costs into the wind. Knee strike to the face! 
Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Oh, and Loomis turns the tables. Oh, foot just stomping down. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Tick. Reversal. What a counter. That gets reversed on Grimes. Close fist connects. Beautiful suplex. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. No, oh, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Axe handle from the middle rope. Raw power. It could be lights out. Oh, the arm's trapped. Legs are locked. Triangle. Triangle. Got him. Is he going to tap? All right, this one's over. Tap out coming. There's still fight left in him. He doesn't want to go out like this. He breaks it. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Down. Brutal. That's just the technical savage doing what he does best. Doesn't have to be pretty, just effective. This is it. Kicks out. He still has life. I mean, you got to think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Looking for a high risk move. Double stop flattens the opponent. That's it. Grimes just ended this. Two. Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Results of this battle plain to see on their face. At least they can say they won the match. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. Yes. Yeah, I did as you ordered, sir. Yes. He's on the show tonight. Penultimate match, yes. The main event is the Cruiserweight title match, Mr. McMahon. Yes, yes, the very same one that slipped my mind last week, yes. He's in a triple threat match, sir, yes. Of course, thank you, Mr. McMahon. Why the hell does he need to be on this show? He does not belong here! Here comes the powerhouse blonde bombshell. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dana Brooke from Yorktown Heights, New York, the NXT Women's Champion, Mandy. Now, uh, formerly God's greatest creation, right, Corey? That's right. But even the man himself makes mistakes. Oh, so judgmental. All because Mandy had a slight slip up at WrestleMania, Corey. You fell out of love with her.
A massive presence in the women's division. And accompanied by Dakota Kai from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. Alongside Dakota Kai, Raquel Gonzalez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and were the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Raquel Gonzalez, definitely a woman you want in your corner. A true powerhouse of the game, physically outmatches everyone she steps into the ring with. Set for competition. Beauty and Braun all rolled into one, Cole. Mandy Rose has one goal in mind, and that's to wreck shop and look good doing. That's actually two goals, Corey, but you do have a point. The physical and brash Mandy Rose is quite the athletic powerhouse. And with Raquel Gonzalez, I mean, just look at her. You are looking at size and strength personified, and she has absolute... Oh, no, there could be trouble lurking for her with this submission maneuver. There it is. It's locked in. Smart maneuver. Is she going to tap... Oh, just like that. Just caught flush. And a slap, too. Oh, no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Nice escape. across the ring. That ain't right. Knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. Trying to rearrange the features on their face. Oh, that's not very nice. Raquel Gonzalez known for her size and strength advantage over the vast majority of her opponents. Corey, I see no way that doesn't benefit her here tonight. Yeah, you're right, Cole. As long as Raquel continues to assert her dominance and refuses to play her opponent's game, we're looking at the odds on favorite here. Axe handle from the middle rope. Oh, and Rose denies the attack. Oh, my God, what a slap. That's Disrespect. A tough position to be caught in here. Remarkable power being shown here. And it looks like Gonzalez is not the only competitor who has had bad intentions here tonight. Yeah, Rose showed up that powerhouse sensibility without breaking a sweat. Legs caught. Oh, wow, look at this. Take down. Hoisted over into the gory special. Could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this is so painful. Tied up tight. This would be an amazing upset. Can she? Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in. Uh, sit out, Matt Slam. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, enough already. Producing a trampoline. Catches Mandy with a counter. Oh, sent flying. Ooh, bad landed. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Gonzalez throwing caution to the wind. She's got her in her sights. From the top. Dominate double axe handle. This is a very powerful powerbomb. Gonzalez was right on target. Two. Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look.
This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. This guy's a dangerous man who apparently has now tamed his sanity. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Dresden, Germany, weighing in at 245 pounds, Alexander Wolf. This guy's had some battles with many WWE competitors before they actually came to this big stage. People like Drew Gulak and Oni Lorcan. Yeah, once you get past the uh, the aura of intimidation that Alexander Wolf has, he is an extremely accomplished competitor inside the ring. Here comes a man with a plan himself, the Brian Kendrick. Unpredictable and as dangerous as the day is long. And his opponents, first from Venice, California, weighing in at 174 pounds, the Brian Kendrick. Kendrick, a multi-time tag team champion, a former cruiserweight champion as well, ultra-talented veteran of the ring. When you're as ready and prepared and plan as well as Kendrick, titles just sort of happen. Don't you guys just love it when a great plan comes together? Oh my God! <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Can you believe he's in NXT? Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 317 pounds, Big Daddy Cool Diesel. All eyes on Big Daddy Cool inside the NXT arena. One of the best big men of all time, gracing NXT with his presence. Diesel's jackknife is a ride you quite simply do not want to take. Yeah, it's a long way down with a painful landing. Many superstars have been peeled off the mat after that. No disqualifications in this matchup. What does that mean for these superstars? Well, this is the type of match where superstars really show their true colors, are given free reign to be as aggressive and ruthless as they desire. It means someone's leaving in an ambulance. That's what no disqualification means. Diesel saw it coming. This is some situation. Byron, what is going through the minds of these superstars? It is so important that these combatants keep their cool. When you're running on sheer adrenaline, you are more apt to make a mistake. I think these competitors will proceed with caution and continue to feel each other out to see who will go for the first big move. Back suplex! He 
missile set ringside. Elbow smash. Knee strike connects. Ooh, well measured. Uh-oh. Set up in the corner of the ring. Ooh. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Ooh, dropped right on their face. And full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, double boots. Oh, double DDT. Multiple slaps to the face. That was the insult. Here comes the injury. Oh, dropped it to the gut. Firm control. Oh, it's punishing the right arm. Nasty stop to finish it off. Here's a snapmare. Basement drop kick. Ooh. And that holds Diesel back. That's absolute power with a vertical suplex. And this might not have a pleasant ending. He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. And Kendrick capitalizes there. Solid punch. Being carried around with ease. It was tossed. She could airline miles for that. Into the turnbuckle. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. Oh, uh, he knew what was coming. Oh, uh, what a windup. Snapmare. Oh, man, a face scrape for this boot. Punch right in the head. Shot right to the kidney, oh. and again. Hey, way to wear down your opponent. <laughs> Answering back. Oh, I love this one. Sliced bread, and he goes for the pin. <laughs> Running interference. Uh-oh, getting ready to elbow drop. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment really builds in these type of matches. Bad predicament right here. Oh, my God, superhuman pop. And the rope save him there. But will he be able to last much longer? He may get the three count right here. I think so. He breaks up the pin, and Corey, the match continues. I love it. Kick right to the back of the leg. Attack to the midsection. Oh, Death Valley for the victory here. Broken up, and the match continues. I'll say the rule. Huge set up powerbomb. Diesel went down in a heap. There's two. And that will end it. Now is a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Alexander Wolf! Standing 
tall above the two other hungry competitors who were in this match. I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, here's the Rebel Heart turned Black Heart. The first NXT Triple Crown Champion has held the NXT Championship, NXT North American Championship, and NXT Tag Team Gold. Now bestowing that success on the rest of the way. One of the hardest hitting superstars in the game. You may not like his motivations. You may question his methods, but Roderick Strong is a force to be reckoned with every time the bell rings. Success at any cost is what it's all about, and it's why Roderick Strong is a dangerous man. Roderick Strong, success has gone through the roof. Well, I guess Roderick was willing to give up a part of himself to achieve success. It's amazing how easily it is to fill a hole in yourself with championship gold, Byron. Introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano! And introducing the champion from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the NXT Cruiserweight Champion, Roderick! A lot of competition in NXT's cruiserweight division, and they all want that title. For over half a decade, we've seen some of NXT and WWE's greatest high flyers take to the skies for this title. Every time the NXT Cruiserweight title is defended, you are guaranteed highlights, Michael. This match will definitely continue that tradition. Oh, and that startles Johnny. Nice. Uh-oh, headbutt. Nothing fancy there. 
This is just brute power. My goodness, absolute dominance. Oh! Right to the back. Oh, stomping away. Strikes with a kick. Now that'll do some serious damage. Able to get the advantage here. Falcon arrow. Up to the top rope now. Lift off. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Oh my gosh, what impact! Johnny Gargano. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. A single leg camel clutch oh, and a great no. counter. Left hook in the mush. Impressive defense from Strong. Jarring impact. He's returning fire. Agility on display. Ooh, sharp elbow. Oh, the moonsault connects. Off into the pin. Oh, somehow. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Cross the shoulders up and got checked. The champion into the cover. One, two, Breaks the close count. Good lord, scarily close to three. <laughs> and a bionic elbow. Race lock applied. Great body control. Perched up top, catches nothing but air. Superb technique against Strong. Elbow smash! Snapmare takedown. Oh my, single leg drop kick. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Finding out why they call him Johnny Wrestling. The escape. Gargano escape is locked in. This has got to be over. Gargano holding on. Submission move. His arm's trapped in the cross face, but he's able to shift his weight and now fighting his way out. What resilience. Up and down. What a gourd buster. Turns it around. Across the shoulders, up and boom, check. And the champion finally ready to put this one away. One, two, kicks out. What do you have to do to put this guy away? This could be it. Oh, good night. Another one bites the dust to Cutter. the champ. Superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, he's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Well, I kind of did too. Nope. Nope. No, honey, nope. No further disturbances over the last two shows. Well, so far, anyway. Nope, I'm guessing Six is recovering from his match on Money in the Bank. Of course I'm sure of it. Sim has been causing trouble for a while. Yes, of course. I'll stay safe, honey. Yeah. I'll see you later, okay? Okay, goodbye. Six doesn't frighten me. It'll take someone a lot bigger than him to take me out.